Hello, in this video we're going to be covering how to set up SFML on Windows using Visual Studio. First of all, make sure you've got a Visual Studio installed, I already have, I've got Visual Studio 2015. If you have an older version like let's say 2012 or 2013, that's fine, this video will be applicable for those versions as well. Next, you want to go to your web browser, go to sfml-dev.org, there'll be a link in the description to this. Go to Downloads. Go to the latest stable version, though I'm using 2.4.1, which is the latest version as of creating this video. This should be applicable for pretty much all versions of SFML. From here, you want to download the SFML for whatever Visual Studio you have. As I've got 2015, I want the Visual C14. You can either download 32-bit or 64-bit. I've got a 64-bit machine, but I'm still going to download 32-bit simply because. I'm not going to be using more than two or three gig of RAM, which is the only main reason you would want 64-bit, or unless you really wanted the extra security features that 64-bit offers. I would recommend 32-bit because it ensures maximum compatibility. Once you've done that, which I've already done, if you go to the download directory that you downloaded your SFML into, extract this file, and you'll get a file like so. And you'll get an SFML folder within here with all of these folders. Next, you want to open up Visual Studio 2015 or whatever version you have. Click New Project. Go to Visual C++, Win32, Win32 Console Application. If this doesn't appear, what you'll probably have is a button to install Visual C++. Just go through that process and then get back to this part in the video. I'm going to call this SFML template, save it in a folder called SFML on the desktop, which I haven't created yet, but I'm going to create right now. So SFML like so, click OK. Now this wizard pops up, click Next, Console Application, select Empty Project, deselect Security Development Lifecycle, click Finish. And next, what we want to do is actually copy into here the SFML library. And what we're going to do is create a new folder called external libraries, like so. And in here, we are simply going to copy and paste this folder. Okay, and I'm going to rename it because I don't like it as SFML dash whatever version. I just want SFML. So let me just rename it to SFML like so. And now we have all of these folders which we will be linking in a moment to our project. So open up Visual Studio. Now, if you right click your project, go to properties, you want to find a section called C slash C. Well, it's not there and the reason is we haven't added a CPP file yet. I just wanted to show you that just in case you go to that step maybe for this project setup or another project setup and it's not there. At the moment Visual Studio doesn't know what sort of project you're, it's dealing with. So you need to right click your project, go to add, new item, select main.cpp and now if we go back to our project we have C, C++, General, just go to All Configurations, select whatever platform you are developing for and whatever version you downloaded. For me, it is Win32. Go to Additional Include Directories, click the drop-down, click Edit. Now you want to click New. Here, you want to type in Dollar Solution DIR. So this is the Solution Directory. We are going to relatively link here, and what that means is it is actually referring to this folder right here. No matter where we move, let's say this SFML folder, it will always refer to this, and we want to link it to this SFML folder. To do that, you do dot dot forward slash, and that essentially goes from here, it goes back. Now we need to go into external libraries. So type in external libraries, type in forward slash, now select SFML, SFML slash include, 
which is this folder right here where all of our code files are. Now what we're going to do is just duplicate this because we'll need something very similar when we actually link up the library folder. So click OK, go to linker, general, additional library directories, click edit, click new, paste it into here. And now you want to change this to lib, like so. And if you go to SFML, if we go back, we have a lib folder. Now we're actually going to link up these library files. To do that, just go to input, additional dependencies, click the drop down, click edit. Now we need to link up some of the library files. So it's SFML dash main dash D dot lib. Just click enter or put a semicolon to separate the library files. Now you want to type in sfml graphics d dot lib sfml window d dot lib sfml system d dot lib sfml audio d dot lib sfml network d.lib and just make sure they're all named correctly according to the library files in here. Click OK, apply. There's just one more step before we can actually start coding our application. That is if we go to the SFML library, go to bin, you want to copy all these dynamic link library files. You want to go back to your project folder go to where your main.cpp file was created, paste these dynamic link library files here. And now we can actually start coding. In this video, it's gonna create a really quick and easy application that just renders a window. So you wanna put hash, include, SFML, it's picked up our library files like so. And now what we're gonna do is put graphics.hpp, like so and now what we need to put is int main in here we're going to sf render window i'm going to call it window and it requires two parameters first is the video mode so sf video mode and this also requires two parameters it's going to be the width and the height of our window so i'm going to put 640 by 480 next need to put the actual title of our application. I'm going to put SFML tutorial. Now we're going to do while. Let me just close that a bit. So while the window is open, so the majority of the time the application will be within this while loop and you do window.clear. This just clears everything off the screen, every single frame. Then you do window.display and this just displays the new content and in between here is where you would draw your objects above here you would handle any events such as keyboard mouse events window events and then here you would simply update game logic so now we're ready to run this let's run it hopefully it successfully builds and we don't get any errors we haven't and we have a SFML render window appear. So that's it for setting up SFML using Visual Studio on Windows. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. We'll also provide a link in the description to the GitHub page, which will have all of this source code plus this project as well. So you can just download it and just run it because it's all relatively linked as long as you've got Visual Studio installed. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.